roosts up. Oh, fuck. This is gonna be one of those, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to another ass-kicking edition of Pokemon Days. Uh, we've got a uh, Huntail out against their chestnut. Huntail's got Shell Smash, that's super cool. Gastrodon, Toxic, and Recover. My lovely Kangaskhan, I love you. Mawile, uh, that's pretty cool with the sword stance. Expert Belt, Hydreigon, and a bulky Gorgeist with Will-O-Wisp. I think that is uh, the pick to make since I don't really want to set up. I don't think I can kill a Chestnut, chestnut from full health, even uh, with a Shell Smash under my belt. And I don't want to sacrifice my Huntail that early. He goes for a safe Leech Seed, but uh, my Gorgeist is here! Now Leech Seed for you! And I'm gonna try and smack him with a Will-O-Wisp. Boom, sucker! How you digging that? He tries to get me with the Drain Punch. Uh, not sure about that. Not gonna work against the Ghost type. I'll try and hit him with the Seed Bomb. Just because what else am I really gonna do? I was hoping I'd have a Ghost move, but that's not the case. Oh well, better better luck next time with the rolls and whatnot. Oh, and he's completely immune to the seed bomb, which is wonderful. He's able to hit me with the wood hammer, but uh, Gorgeist is pretty bulky, even though this is not the large Gorgeist. And I guess I'll just go for seed bomb again, I don't know. Can't even lead seed him. Shit's terrible. We're just kind of having a Mexican standoff here. Hopefully one of us will switch. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he switches into a Rapidash. I hit it for 18% with Seed Bomb, 12% after Leftovers is not much at all. I can't really do a thing against it, uh, except Leech Seed. But I just hope that I'll survive the Flare Blitz, because it's not a large Gorgeist, I'm a little wary. Yeah, he just barely hangs in there, which is awesome. That's a bunch of recoil damage on the Rapidash, and I can get some of it back with Lefties and Leech Seed. So we're back up to 35% health, that's just fine. He does have synthesis, but um, I'm slower, and I'm not going to survive another Flare Blitz. So here comes the Wild Charge. He was predicting a switch into Huntail, I assume, but uh, luckily Gastrodon is here. I'm going to hit him with Earthquake, because that's a, a nice solid move. It gets the same type of attack bonus and all that good stuff. And it's gonna hurt Rapidash real bad. Boom! How you like that, suckle? And he's 12% after Earthquake, Leech Seed, Leftovers, etc. Clear Spawn's not gonna do anything. Shouldn't really waste time on Toxic. I will just go ahead and smash with uh, an Earthquake again. And even if he switch into the Chestnut, um, I've still got my Gore Guys as a safe switch out. And then we could double switch, because obviously he'll want to switch. So you switch two turns in a row, predicting what they're going to switch into, and you uh, get a free hit. It's pretty nice. Pretty cool. So, Gastrodon is uh, not going to do much against my Rakdos. I pull it out, fearing the Grass-type move. He goes for Leech Seed, which, again, not going to work on Gorgeist. Gorgeist seems to be uh, a linchpin of this team for some reason. So, here comes the Will-O-Wisp. I hope he doesn't switch into Rapidash. Oh. It, there it is. He didn't swip it to switch into Rapidash. Good. I was going to change it to Leech Seed, fearing the switch, but uh, it was a wise decision that I did not. So I can synthesis up here. I I am faster than the Maractus, and even though it's hitting me with, I assume, Hidden Power Fire, maybe Ice, but probably Fire for good coverage uh, with the Grass type, uh, same type attack. So we're going to just kind of sit around and take his fire move, hope it doesn't crit, synthesis up, because uh, it is slowly healing me. Very, very slowly healing me. We won't get higher than 25-ish, uh, 25, 25-30% unless he switches out, in which case we'll be in pretty good spirits. Oh, look at that, 35. That looks good to me. I'm going to pull this Gorgeist out, just because he was a gentleman and switched uh, during our last standoff. And I'm going to go into Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan! Go fucking get him, Genghis! Dude. Oh. I, if I have a baby, I want it to be just like Kangaskhan, baby! Kangaskhan! Oh, I'd be the Kangaskhan kid. You seen that episode in the anime? Well, the anime sucks, so you probably shouldn't. 
but <laughs> I've seen it, and that's my favorite episode, for sure. My favorite poke. I'm so glad he got a Mega Evolution, even though he was supposed to be like, you know, Cubone's third evolution or whatever. And they broke it off! They broke it off! I'm gonna smack this thing with a return. Pretty sure it's going to kill, and if not, then uh, the baby can sack the kill. Which would be super sweet. There you go! Father-son teamwork! Yeah! Oh, mother-son. Mother-daughter? Mother I guess it is, because all Kangaskhan's are female. Aren't they? I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> Gotta use a ditto to breed them. Alright? Ditto's just a little creepy. So, basically anything he sends in right now is going to take a big chunk from Return. I might be a bit scared against Chestnut, um, but again, Gorgeist is is just barely hanging in there, and it'll give me a chance to synthesis up with him, because uh, fighting grass can't do anything against ghost grass. <laughs> uh, Doug Trio is really, really fast, but I don't think he has the attack power to really take Kangaskhan down. Oh, he misses the Stone Edge. Go for the Earthquake, bro! Baby sacks a second kill. This baby's body bagging it, son! Fuck! Yes! Ah, oh. This music isn't the best. It's just an extended remix of Maxi's uh, Team Aqua, Team Magma uh, boss battle. But it, it just got me amped. Maybe it wasn't the music at all. Maybe it was just the happenings. The fucking baby putting some shit to waste. Um, I'm gonna switch into Gorgeist here. I don't really know what that thing is gonna do. Frisk it for leftovers, and it <laughs> fucking nice prediction, I guess. Nails me with Fire Blast. So, it reveals it has Fire Blast and leftovers. Hydreigon could be a good choice, although that is part fairy now. Or Mawile. I don't really... Huntail's the one. We can set up a Shell Smash as long as we don't get fucking fried by a Thunderbolt right now. Wigglytuff is really, really tough to predict. I really like to put a Focus Sash on Wigglytuff and then just take a fighting move and uh, go one for one. It's basically a guaranteed kill as long as Wigglytuff doesn't take any damage entering the field, so you have to keep a rapid spin on your team. But uh, that's why randoms is nice. You don't really have to worry about entry hazards and shit unless uh, you give somebody a chance to set them up. And if that's the case, why'd you give them a chance to set them up? What the fuck? <laughs> and you might even roll a rapid spinner. So I'm gonna try and fucking body bag this wiggly tub with waterfall because Huntail's um, attack is higher than special attack. And it is same type attack as well. He lives! Hits me with Dazzling Gleam. That, look, I'm so lucky that shit's a, a three hit KO and not two. So here we go again. Waterfall. I'm gonna have the ice knot, ice beam for the chestnut in case he brings that out, and the rapidash will eat a waterfall as well. I should be faster. Rapidash is pretty fast, but when you double your speed, it's fucking hard for anything to beat that. Obviously, Huntail's like on crack or something. He's been drinking Red Bull. He been drinking his Red Bull, that boy. Let me tell you, it's good for you. Lots of vitamins, healthy. I'll be waiting for my paycheck. <laughs> I want to know what the last Pokey has is. Unveil it to me, or feed me the Rapidash. I could use a, a snack. We basically wrapped this one up pretty quick. Our rank is only 1,300 at the moment, uh, but we're three and zero at uh, right now, and I've got a few people. YouTubers that are challenging me, father and son, as well as Cowboy Duke, and um, it kind of fell through this weekend, so I'm just battling a random guiltless ex. He seems pretty cool though, I guess. <laughs> um, hopefully next week I'll be able to bring you either of those, um, and maybe they'll even break my winning streak, which, you know, I doubt. <laughs> uh. And so humble he is. Humble narrator, indeed. So, here's the fucking Togekiss. We Ice Beam that chestnut into the ground, just like I thought. And I think we're gonna go Ice Beam on the Togekiss. I mean, double special attack, that's 408 special attack with an Ice Beam. 
I think that'll put this fucking thing in the ground. But, uh, who really knows? <laughs> it's just one of them things. Unless you're doing the calculations. But, I'm not. I ain't got time. I'd like to look up what the weaknesses and shit to fairy type are, but... I ain't got time. Ain't got time for all that. He fucking lives through the ice beam! What?! Fuck! How? Uh... Fuck. How? Maybe Mawile. I don't know. I'm so, like, just shocked. Yeah, I know he's got a fighting move. I don't know if Fairy's strong or weak against fighting. Like, I don't want to send Mawile in against a fucking four, four times uh, effective attack if he gets hit with a fighting move and he's both Steel and Fairy and Fairy's weak to fighting. That's a lot of hypotheticals to go through, but I think you're following me. Maybe. I hope. If not, sorry. <laughs> I think Fairy's weak to fire, so I'm gonna try to hit this fucking thing with a fire blast and I miss completely, which is just lovely. He roosts up. Oh, fuck. This is gonna be one of those, isn't it? Ooh! Alright, if it all goes bad, we can U-turn out of here. It's it's not that much of an issue. Hopefully my Fire Blast will hit this time so I can learn whether or not this shit is super effective. And also whether or not he has a fighting move. Because I don't think he's revealed that to me yet. Uh, unless I just wasn't paying attention, which I kind of have not been a little bit. Obviously getting my moves in, but um, I should be talking more about what's happening on the screen. <clears throat> Well, I did try to set up the Huntail Sweep, which went pretty well. Um, I mean, the battle's basically in the bag. Huntail did his job, decimated the team. I got the Hacks burn on that Togekiss. I think I'm going to U-turn out of here now. And we can uh, try our luck with Mawile before Hydreigon takes too much damage. And then once Mawile sees battle, that will be everyone. So everyone's included. Hooray! I love you all so much. Except the dead ones. Because you weren't good enough to not be dead! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, uh, I want, I want a 6-0 really fucking bag, body bag somebody, but it's, it's hard to do in randoms, obviously. So, I try and get as close as possible. I don't let up the steam, even for my fucking YouTube friends. And, um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Because, oh, there's the horror sphere. Okay. Okay, I guess fairy resists fighting, because, uh we were neutral to that. So that did a lot of damage. He can break it with my substitute with Aura Sphere, so I think I'm just gonna Sword Stance directly up. And I can't really Sucker Punch him. Fucking Air Slash. He was going for Flinch Axe. <laughs> I can't really Sucker Punch him because Dark, I think, is resisted by Fairy, maybe? And Fairy's immune? I don't know. So we're gonna go to, for Play Rough, just because it is same type attack and everything. I was really hoping for Iron Head, but, um, because I know Steel works against Fairy, but unfortunately we do not have that. And I missed my fucking Play Rough, also unfortunately. So, not, not too hot here. He could fucking probably sack me with another Aura Sphere. Um, but we're gonna go for Play Rough again. Just hope for some shit. If, if I lose with four Pokemon in the bag against his two and his fucking crippled ass Rapidash, I'm gonna fucking shit! I'm gonna shit everywhere! Ah! <laughs> I, I don't wanna shit. Please don't make me shit, guy. Just let me win, dude. You're a cool guy, right? No, don't let me win. Nobody should let me win. I want to pummel you while you resist. <laughs> That's just how we do. Oh, there's the Aura Sphere. Oh! Play rough fucking sacks that shit. Nice. And I should be able to, uh, just sucker punch that Rapidash in the dick. Fuck him, son. This has been Pokemon Days. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. Bye, Rapidash. <laughs> and fuck him all wild face, too. That's so cool. Until the next time, friends. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.